this video, we would like to see how we can build a collapsible FAQ page using ASP.NET and jQuery, but this time we want to get the questions and answers from a database. In this video, we have a database and we get the list of questions and answers from the database. Let's take a look at the database. Our database is created in SQL Server. The database name is TestDB and inside this database, I created one tiny table with six records with a couple of questions and answers. The database server is sp2013dev, the instance name is SharePoint, the database name is testdb, and security I'm using Windows authentication, and all this information compiles into a connection string as of data source, the server name, backslash the instance name, the initial catalog is going to be my database name, and the integrated security is going to be SSPI or true. And finally, our table name is T underscore FAQ. To make this connection, I'm using the ADO.NET disconnected mode. So first, we start by creating the connection. If you can remember from the part one of the FAQ videos, you can remember this code that when I run this, it gives me three questions. And when I click on it, they show me the answer. Now we would like to replace this with some data that is coming from the database. To do that, first I go to the code view of this project. So the first step is to create a connection using system.data.sql client. So SQL connection CN equals new SQL connection cn dot connection string equals data source equals sp2013 dev backslash sharepoint initial catalog equals test db and integrated security equals SSPI. Okay, we created our connection. Now we need to create a data adapter. So SQL data adapter ADP equals new SQL data adapter. I need to feed this adapter with a command object. So SQL command cmd equals new sql command and cmd dot connection equals my connection that i just created cmd dot command text equals my sql statement so select all the fields from t underscore FAQ and ADP dot select command equals the new CMD that I created. So now I have a data adapter and I and I assign the right command object to the command property of this adapter. Now we need to create a data set to keep the data in our application. To create a data set, I need to import another namespace using system.data dataset ds equals new dataset and that's pretty much it. Step four is going to be loading the data to the dataset. So I get back to my code. It's going to be adp.fill and that's going to be ds. By now, I have all the questions and answers in my ASP.NET page. Right after this, I need to create a UI and connect that data set to the UI. Let's get back to the code. To create a UI, I get back to the web form. I just keep one question and I want to create a repeater around it. ID is going to be RP. FAQ 
and run at server. This repeater has item template. So for the item template, I want to repeat the li element. Now in my question and answer is part of the item template, every single item repeats this element. All I need to do, I need to provide the question here. Eval question and for the answer eval answer. That's pretty much all I need to do in my code. So I created a repeater, I defined the item template for it, and inside the item template I put the li element and I just replace the question by the question that I'm getting from the data source and the answer is going to be the answer that, that comes from the data source. Let's go here and finalize the data binding. So that's going to be RP FAQ dot data source is going to be DS and RPFAQ dot data member is going to be the name of the table. That's going to be T hyphen FAQ and RPFAQ we want to do the data bind. And to make it reasonably clean I would say if not page dot is post back do all these things. We are pretty much done with the UI. The only thing I guess I forgot is defining the second parameter for the table name. That's going to be T underscore FAQ which is actually the table representation inside the data set. Let's run it and see how it works. Here we go. We have a list of questions from the database. Same questions that we have here. And if I expand any one of them, these are the answers that come from the database. I got a questions from the code projects and Environment Canada. So I really didn't have to sit here and type the questions again. And what comes next is going to be the same FAQ, but this time I'm getting the questions from SharePoint. Thank you for watching and happy coding. Mm -hmm.